so I just want to make a quick update video um, about what's been going on. Maybe it can help somebody else and I just want to document this. Um, so about eight days ago, I got a really bad migraine, literally out of nowhere. It was on the left side, very throbbing pressure. I made a little diary about it that I keep in my phone, but I can't look at it right now. So I can't give you exactly how I felt every day. Um, maybe I'll put it at the end of this video though. Um, so I'm like not thinking much of it because I've had migraines before and it felt pretty similar to my normal migraines. Um, so I, you know, went throughout my day, went to bed, woke up, it wasn't gone. And that scared me because normally my migraines are gone after I go back to bed and wake up or go to bed and wake up. So the next day it was really pressure and tight and like really uncomfortable and I kept having to lay down and like use a heating pad and just like it was not fun. Um, and normally like I can go about my normal day with a migraine, like I don't have to like stop my day, like I'm fine, like it, it's uncomfortable, but I can push through. So this was a little freaking me out a little bit. So I took two Advil, normally that boom kicks it out. I normally don't take medication for my migraines because I don't like to take medicine for anything. I'm very stubborn with that kind of stuff. So, but I was like, I'm done, like I'm done with this. I got, I got stuff to do. I can't just sit on the couch all day. So I took the two Advil, nothing happened. Then I got scared. Okay. So the day, so then we're on the third day. I didn't do anything that day, nothing. And then the fourth day I went to my brother's house for two days because I was scared and I didn't want to be alone. So I went to my brother's house. Um, actually, no, I'm not, I'm messing up the timeline. So I think, um, after I took that Advil that next day, I went to the emergency room, but I had my daughter with me. They wanted to do a CT with contrast, but I had her with me. So I was like, eh, never mind. So they just charged me. Okay. So then two days after that, I was at my brother's for those two days. I started to feel really sick, dizzy, and felt really horrible and awful and very anxious. And I felt like I was going to have a panic attack. So I'm like, you know what? I'm done. I'm going. I told my brother, I got to go. So I went to the emergency room. My friend met me up there and sat with me. We were there for three hours. They did a CT without contrast. And then they did, um, blood work. Everything came back normal. They sent me home, diagnosed me with, I wish I had my paper not in here um muscle spasms spinal spasm something like that I don't know maybe I can like try to add it in here what it's actually called if I'm in paper but um basically I have like a like a knot here and then under or where my sub sub occipital I've been like researching trying to figure out what's going on my sub occipital is very tender I've been trying to like work it out but if I like hit a certain spot it like goes right up into my head and I'm like freaking out thinking I have an aneurysm, right? I still am like up at night now, right now, even though I'm, I'm up and moving and I can do stuff because I feel off kilter. I feel off balance. I feel funny. I feel a little brain fog. I feel weird when I wake up. Um, the throbbing has stopped for the most part. Sometimes like I'll notice when I bend down, I can feel a little doo -doo -doo, and it's very, it's freaking me out because I'm so scared it's going to come back. And if it does, I'm going immediately to the hospital again. Um, but I've been just massaging. I'll notice if I massage for a while, I'll feel normal and then it'll kind of come back. So I think, uh, and I went to the chiropractor today and he also confirmed muscle spasm, but I'm nervous because I didn't get that CT with contrast that I, I screwed up and you know, I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm paranoid. I'm, I'm still scared. I don't know. Um, I see a neurologist on the seventh of next month. So still a ways to go for that. Um, and I was honestly going to call them and see if I could get in sooner. And this video might cut me off because I don't have a lot of storage. I'm just going to post it. I'm not going to like try to re-record. I've tried to make this video like 20 times and I just can't like get the words out right. And like, like I can get the words out right, but you know what I mean? Like I can't, um, I can't like get the timeline right. And like, I'm just all over the place. So this is the best one so far. So this one's getting posted. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I never thought a muscle spasm could knock you on your ass like that. I did look it up and the symptoms of